The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom has been blowing our minds with the world of possibilities it presents. But all of the insane creations being made with the Ultra Hand system got us wondering, what didn't make it into the final game? That led us on a journey that resulted in the discovery of a ton of items that were left on the cutting room floor throughout the entire series. Prepare yourself for mind-blowing discoveries in 25 Unused Items in the Legend of Zelda series. Game Facts Special Ice Cream Everybody loves a daily sweet treat, and no one deserves it more than Link. After a hard day of fighting off the forces of evil, he should be able to just sit down and enjoy some soft serve, right? This tasty turn of events is actually possible in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, thanks to an ice cream cone food item that was created but not included in the finished game. The unused item was found by accident shortly after the game's release, but dedicated players have found a reliable way to obtain the item by using the weapon modifier corruption glitch. It's a long and convoluted process, and the ice cream itself doesn't actually have any effects, but at least Link gets to enjoy something sweet at the end. Sailcloth When Breath of the Wild was first shown back in 2014, many things were different from the game we know now. For one, it was going to be a Wii U-only game. But also, the now-iconic paraglider looked a little different, and yet very familiar to anyone who played Skyward Sword. The first gameplay footage we saw of the beta version of Breath of the Wild featured Skyward Sword's sailcloth being used to descend safely in place of the paraglider. This was probably a case of items being reused as placeholders during development, but modders have since put the sailcloth back in the game. Hookshot If you ever found yourself thinking, man, I really wish the hookshot was in this game, while trying to figure out how to cross a gap in Breath of the Wild, you're certainly not alone. And apparently, it was planned and even tested in the game at some point in development. In an interview with IGN, the Zelda series producer Eiji Aonuma and Breath of the Wild's director Hidemaru Fuhibayashi both discussed why the hookshot was ultimately cut from the game. Aonuma said that it would have conflicted with the climbing and paragliding systems by allowing players to go anywhere too easily. To twist the knife even further, Fujibayashi revealed that tests were conducted with dual hook shots, giving Link movement abilities like Spider-Man or Attack on Titan characters. Oh, what a game that would have been. Beetle Another cut item from Skyward Sword in Breath of the Wild was the Beetle. The handy little remote-controlled, item-grabbing bug was going to be included as a Sheikah Slate power, but was likely cut because it would have allowed players to obtain hard-to-reach objects without climbing and exploring. High Fairy Costume The Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes has a pretty unexpected costume that went unused. It's called the High Fairy, or Great Fairy Costume, and it straps fairy wings to Link's back and sprouts antenna from his head. Players have found a way to view the unused model in the game, and there's also concept art of the unused costume that was shown in an issue of Nintendo Dream. It's speculated that this model is from an early point in development, as Link's appearance is somewhere between his design from A Link Between Worlds and his completed look in Triforce Heroes. Early Ordon Sword In The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, Link uses the Ordon Sword and Shield in his human form. In the game's files, fans have found an early Ordon Sword icon that bears a striking resemblance to one from the E3 2003 demo, but was removed from the final game. It is much larger than other icons and has no function when used. Fire Arrow Another non-functional, unused item in the files for Twilight Princess is labeled as the Fire Arrow in English. But its Japanese name implies that it's something closer in nature to light arrows. Magic Restoring Items Fun fact, both Twilight Princess and Breath of the Wild had magic meters present in their respective user interfaces in early presentations, but later had their magic systems removed. In Twilight Princess, the remnants of that system can actually be found in the game, but serve no purpose. When you fight your way to the bottom of the Cave of Ordeals in the HD remaster of Twilight Princess, you'll come across blue and yellow chews that combine to form a green chew. When defeated, it will drop a green potion, which was intended to restore magic. This enemy also exists in the original GameCube version, but becomes a purple chew instead, and the green potion only exists in the game files. Additionally, green chew jelly is another magic restoring item that can only be found in the game's files. Black chew jelly 
If, for some reason, you wanted to consume an item that would do one heart's worth of damage, then you could sift through the Twilight Princess game files to find the functional but unused Black Chew Jelly item. Curiously, it has the same effect as the nasty soup you receive from Koro in the Pharon Woods. Surf Leaf a precursor to the shield surfing mechanic in Breath of the Wild can be found in Twilight Princess, thanks to the unused Surf Leaf item. It uses the same icon as the Hylian Shield, but it's actually the original version of the leaf Link uses to snowboard from the top of Snow Peak. It's speculated that the developer's original intent was to have Link shield surf down the mountain instead of using the Ice Leaf, and the developers even referred to the unused item as shield surfing. Water Boots in The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, there is an unused item labeled Water Boots, or in the Japanese script, Hiragana. If you fiddle with the game's code, you can actually access this item, but it's not modeled and doesn't have any effects. When activated, Link does the same animation he does when the player equips the Iron Boots, but nothing happens. Some fans think that the Water Boots might have been used to sink below the water surface to solve puzzles, kind of like the Iron Boots in Ocarina of Time. Wind Waker Stone Another unused item in the Wind Waker that can only be obtained by hacking is the Wind Waker Stone. Even after all these years, it's not clear what the intended purpose for this item was. It has no effects when used, and the item itself is not modeled. Its icon is the only clue we have to what the item might look like. Extra Sales Thanks to icons found in the Wind Waker's game files, we can deduce that the game originally had multiple sales planned at some point in development. There are three sale listings in the game's framework, called the Normal Sale, the Zora Sale, and the Tingle Sale. The latter two sales never show up in the final game, though we can probably assume that the Zora Sale might have allowed a faster sailing speed, similar to what was present in Wind Waker HD. Eiji Aonuma himself has stated that the Swift Sale was only possible for the HD remaster due to hardware limitations of the GameCube. The Tingle Sale? That was probably just to make people feel slightly uncomfortable. He's a weirdo. Upgraded Power Bracelets Like the extra sales, the Wind Waker's files also hide an extra power bracelet icon. You do get power bracelets in the game, and they use a visually similar icon, but this one has a different file name. Due to its designation as Gloves 01, and the power bracelets that appear in the game being referred to as Glove 00, we can assume that this hidden icon was possibly for an upgraded set of power bracelets that were cut from the game. Deku Shield In The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, it's possible to load in an unused Deku Shield item by using a mixture of hacking and debug ROM functions. The item cannot be picked up or used, though it can be interacted with. If you hit it with the slingshot, it will fall from its location and disappear after a few seconds. Bronze Quiver The game files of Ocarina of Time contain an unused item referred to as the Bronze Quiver. It's essentially the same model that's shown for the Big Quiver or the Biggest Quiver, but it uses a unique shader to make it visually distinct from the other items. Explosive Rupees Look! A massive rupee! Finally, my financial worries are over. I can buy every piece of equipment in the game. This Looney Tunes-esque moment was brought to you by a very funny, very cruel item that thankfully went unused in Ocarina of Time, Explosive Rupees. They don't give you stacks of rupees to add to your counter, and they don't offer really any kind of positive outcome at all. They just explode when Link touches them. Diabolical. Early Heart Container. If you happen to have access to a Game Shark and a retail copy of Ocarina of Time, you could take a look at this early version of a heart container. It's completely opaque and motionless, but it does act like a normal heart container when collected. It's just not as satisfying as the spinning heart container that's present in the final game. Alternate Link Masks One of the most interesting mysteries and pieces of lore surrounding Majora's Mask is the case of the Adult Link Mask. The story of the unused item begins in an image that was included in a pre-release article for the game in N64 Magazine, which shows a mask with a familiar face mapped to an action button. That mask is obviously nowhere to be found, and many believe it was replaced with the now-iconic Fierce Deity Mask. However, concept art found in Hyrule Historia shows that a transformation into Adult Link was planned at some point, which was likely the effect of the mask shown in the magazine. 
There is also an unused Young Link mask texture that exists in the game and is shown in Hyrule Historia. This mask might have allowed Deku Link to return to his Hylian form, as suggested by the concept art. Long Shot Another item that was present in promotional materials but not in the final game is the Long Shot. It can be seen in this image bound to the B button, but it was likely replaced by Zora Link's abilities later on in development. Fishing Rod The Fishing Rod from Ocarina of Time is present in Majora's Mask's files and can even be brought out in the game with some hacking. However, the item isn't modeled, so Link just holds an invisible object, and the game freezes if he casts a line. While the original version never used this item, Majora's Mask 3D on the 3DS did update and include the fishing rod, as well as two fishing holes to use it at. Blue Fire There is an unused item in Majora's Mask labeled as Blue Fire, which can be obtained via hacking. It might have been used to melt ice early in the game's development, but that function was later handled by the hot spring water in the finished game. Thanks to Mike Alexander for writing this episode! Make sure to like the video and subscribe! Check out our other episodes on every cancelled Zelda game, Zelda tech demos, and Zelda finds from GigaLeak! This is McGen signing off. Thanks for watching! This has been a GameFAQ special.